Hi, my name is Nick from Snappa, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook cover photo with the newly updated dimensions. So first off, I'm going to start by clicking on the Facebook cover photo preset within Snappa. From here, I can choose from a variety of different templates that Snappa offers, or I can actually choose to create from scratch. And that's actually what I'm going to do here. So once I'm in my canvas, I can see that I have the right dimensions already set up for the Facebook cover photo. And I notice that I have these safe zones for mobile devices as well as desktop devices. Now to help with the design, I can also toggle these safe zones on and off. But for now, I'm going to leave it on so that I can design within the safe zones. So to start the design, I'm going to navigate to the backgrounds tab in the top left here. From here, I can choose from a free stock photo within the image library. I can choose a pattern background. I can choose an uploaded image as my background, or I can choose a colored background. In this case, I'll go to the photos tab and I'm going to search for the type of photo that I want. Once I found a photo that I like, I'm going to click on it and it's going to appear as the background of my canvas. So the next thing I'm going to do is navigate to the shapes tab. I'm going to click on the rectangle. As it appears on the canvas, I'm going to resize it and reposition it to where I want it to be. Then I'm going to click on the rectangle. I'm going to change the color of the rectangle to the color of choice. And then I'm going to navigate and decrease the opacity of the shape from 100 to about 60. So the next thing I'm going to do is add text. So I'll navigate to the text tab. I'll click add a heading. Once the heading appears on the canvas, I'm going to click on it and change the text. I'm going to resize the font to 32. I'm going to change the font style to open sounds. From here, I can bold and italicize the font. And I'm going to change the color from black to white. Now I'm going to resize the text box so that it fits in within, within my rectangle. So now I can finally add the finishing touches and add the business name and logo. So I'm going to navigate to the shapes tab. I'm going to click on the line first. Once the line is on the canvas, I'm going to increase the size of it a bit, center it, and then change it from black to white. I'm going to decrease the stroke of the line. And this is just going to separate my business logo and name from the actual tagline. Now to add a logo, I'm going to navigate to my graphics tab. From here, I can upload my own logo, or I can navigate to the icons library that Snap offers. I'm going to type in the icon that I want. And once I found the right icon, I'm going to click on it. It's going to appear on the canvas. I'm going to resize it and reposition it. I'm going to change the color from black to white. Now I'm going to quickly add the company name. So I'm going to navigate to my text tab. I'm going to click add a subheading. I'm going to type in the text that I want. I'm going to change the color from black to white. I'm going to change the font size to 20. I'm going to change the font style to open sounds again. And I'm also going to bold it, decrease the size of the text box, and reposition to where I want it to be. So I'm going to add one more text box. So I'll navigate to the text tab, click add a subheading, type in the text that I want. I'm going to change the font color from black to white, change the font size to 12, change the font style to open sounds. I'm going to italicize it and increase the line spacing to about 2. Now I'm going to decrease the size of the text box and then reposition it to where I want it to be. So I've just designed a Facebook cover photo within the safe zones, meaning that Facebook will not crop out any critical components of our design. If you're looking to create a Facebook cover photo within less than five minutes, head on over to snappa.com today.